Hey guys, thanks for watching Million Dollars But. If you enjoyed our show, why don't you check out our game? We've got a new 80s expansion pack available now in the link in the description. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Million Dollars But. I'm Bernie Burns. This is Barbara Dunkelman, you know her. And with us, our very, very special guest, Miss Hannah Hart. That's me. We're so not worthy. Oh no, we're all worthy. So Hannah, you've played Million Dollars But the card game, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Well, cool. Well, since you've never been on the show before, Barbara, why don't you start us off? Okay, you get a million dollars. That's a lot of money. It yeah. is. But for the rest of your life, when you see an unfinished drink, you have to finish it. Oh, oh, man. As soon as somebody puts down a drink, is that basically unfinished? Like, your friends would hate you. <laughs> yeah. You'd be at a bar together, they would set down their drink, and immediately there's Hannah reaching in going, thanks for that, and drinking the whole thing. Sober Hannah is a sipper. Drunk Hannah, I do finish everybody's drinks. You'd be drunk all the you time. <laughs> You could never be at a bar at closing time because imagine all the unfinished drinks. Oh. And that's always, always the worst part of a drink. Like the leftover beer at the bottom Slightly of a bottle. Slightly more viscous. It's like full of spit, full, it's like warm. You gotta go and just finish it. I gotta point something out here. You know, on the bar, that black mat, yeah. and the drinks spill into it all night. As soon as the bar closes, that's now going to be unfinished. You have to like tilt the mat up and drink out of the mat. <laughs> Squeeze past that one. What about, what about for people that like work out all the time and they do like protein? shakes and smoothies, there's always that little bit that like uh. hours later collects at the bottom and you have to wash it out. Protein shakes are, when they get old, they get clumpy as well. So you're drinking like this like clumpy, nasty, stinky mess. Yeah. Ugh. We're all very high class people. Yeah. Let's say we go to a really nice wine tasting. They spit in this big communal, Collective yeah. Communal bucket. It's an unfinished drink right there. So, <gasps> oh, so Hannah's at a wine tasting, they give her a glass of wine and she's like, uh, no thank you. I've got my glass, and she reaches down and picks up that yeah. bucket. Not oh. only is it gross, it's also socially debilitating. Oh. Yeah, that, that people are gonna know you as the weirdo oh who my drinks everyone's drinks. God. So, million dollars, but you have to finish every unfinished drink you see. How would you take it? You know, I, Hannah Hart, I'm gonna pass. Ooh. I'm not taking the money. I would absolutely not take that. <laughs> <laughs> I go to way too many places in public and see way too many unfinished drinks. Okay. <clears throat> A million dollars, but every day for the rest of your life, you're haunted by a different historical figure. So wake up in the morning, open my eyes, standing in the room is the ghost of... Albert Einstein. Yeah, Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. Well, that'd be good on a homework day. You know, maybe you get to enjoy their company, but also they've got their own opinions. Okay. And most historical figures are known for good stuff, right? There's a lot of scientists. Yeah. What I mean, if you pull somebody that you've never heard of, but like is a part of like other history? Like what if you have like a Viking king? Yeah. Ooh. You know, and just like this massive guy. And he's really loud all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's a day you have to go to a funeral? Oh, wow. He's with you. And he's like, been there. <laughs> Light him up. <laughs> Mine was way better than this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the heavy hitters are bad. Like Hitler's the top of the bad list. You know, also Hitler was a vegetarian, right? So let's say you're just trying to cook dinner. Are you getting guilt tripped by Hitler? <laughs> yeah, of all people. <laughs> he's oh in the God. kitchen going, well, you can eat whatever you want, but hmm, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll also be like, you don't know who you're getting every day. So like, if you're having a party on Saturday, and then Friday you wake up, and there's Beethoven, oh. and you're calling all your friends, you're like, dude, party's tonight. Beethoven's here, he's chill, he's cool, he wants to play, Yeah. you know, so come on. Let's say you do have Beethoven, he's at your party, perfect, everyone's having a great time, stroke of midnight. Then all of a sudden, you've got Genghis Khan running through everywhere, yeah. knocking over the buffet tables. You know, what are you, what are you <laughs> party's do? over at that point. I mean, so that's the question though, guys. What are you gonna do? A million dollars. Yeah but every day a new historical figure comes to haunt you. I don't know if I could take this one. Really, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I might do it just for the podcast. I'm going to give each of you individually one million dollars. But for the next five years, you have a seven days a week permanent hype man. Wow. The problem is they're very, very bad at their job. Ladies guy. and gentlemen, yeah. get ready for a heart attack. And he's just not good. He loses the crowd all the time oh, and everything. Man. He's totally inappropriate to yeah. you everywhere you go. Like what if you're coming to work one day and he's like, you know her, you love her. She banged six dudes last week and they all loved it. It is Barbara Dunkelman. 
I like, like the idea of also the more and more you use him, the more equipment he gets too. So let's say you're going to the bathroom one day and he has his own light show that he does before yes. you walk in there. Oh my guys, none of this sounds bad. He starts to express himself. I think I'm really sad scenario is like, what if your grandmother's in the hospital? Yeah. You have to go visit her, your whole family's in the waiting room. And get the diagnosis for grandma in the hospital. It's like, that diagnosis was terrible. You know, it's not terrible. Barbara Dunkelman. Hey. <laughs> this dude has like, he, out of nowhere magically, he can pull the T-shirt cannon. Yeah. You're on a date and you're your date's getting t-shirts. T-shirt cannon. <laughs> All right, so a million dollars, but for the next five years of your life, you have a 24 hour a day, seven days a week, hype man who precedes you everywhere you go and he's terrible at his job. I would absolutely take this one. I am so down for this. I am 100% not taking that money. All right, well thank you for joining us on this, what I think was a very educational episode of Million Dollars, but I feel like we learned a little bit about ourselves. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video, and you have to check out Hannah Hart's channel, Heart Toe. We love her. Hannah, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.